you dive deep into the ocean and keep going down further and further through layer after layer of darkness until you reach the deepest part, the absolute bottom of the ocean. You'll arrive at a place called the Hadal Zone. It's a world of complete darkness, freezing cold and crushing pressure, where only a few can survive. Most people would imagine the bottom of the ocean as an empty wasteland, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The deeper we go, the stranger life becomes, not because it wants to, but because it has to. It's a common belief that evolution makes life more complex. Down here, it does the opposite. In the Hadal zone, complexity breaks. What's left is efficiency, and that makes these creatures look so creepy. It lies more than 6,000 meters below the surface, stretching through the deepest ocean trenches, the place where the Earth's tectonic plates collide and one crust slides beneath the other. Down here, the pressure is beyond imagining, over a thousand times greater than at sea level. Every square inch of your body would bear the weight of an elephant. To almost all forms of life, it would be instant death. Yet somehow, the Hadal Zone isn't empty. It's alive. So what are these alien world creatures surviving in this complete abyss? Where the temperature hovered just above freezing and the water is thicker than air, life endures. But it's not the kind of life we recognize. It's soft, slow, and translucent, evolved for a place that never sees light. And among these ghosts of the deep drifts, one of the strangest beings ever recorded, the Magna Pinna squid, also known as the Big Fin squid. It is the only known squid to inhabit these crushing depths. The first time scientists saw it, they thought the camera had malfunctioned. The footage showed a small hovering body with arms bending at perfect right angles, each trailing impossibly long filaments, as thin as a hair. Stretching up to 8 meters, the creature moved not with flapping fins or frantic jets, but with eerie calm, suspended mid-water like a puppet held by invisible strings. The magna pinna squid doesn't hunt like surface squids. It waits, its arms dangle vertically. Tiny vibration ripples in its filaments alert it that the prey is close. So small, the human eye could never see it. This is hunting at the edge of existence. Its body looks too fragile for this world, almost translucent, a pale bronze shimmer in the back. No one knows how it survives the pressure, how its cells, its blood, its tissues endure conditions that would crush steel. Yet it drifts as if it's weightless. Scientists believe creatures like this evolved their eerie elongated forms to conserve energy. In a world with almost no food, their large size, a phenomena known as deep sea gigantism, helps them move more efficiently and store energy for longer periods. Hence, it gives them a creepy look. The Hadal trenches like the Mariana, Kermadak, and South Sandwich span thousands of kilometers. And yet sightings of the Magna Pinna are so rare, they can be counted on one hand. Each time the squid appears suddenly in the camera's light, floating upright, arms spread wide as if it's testing the water around it, and then fades back into the dark vanishing as quietly as it arrived. What little we know comes from these glimpses. We have never caught one alive. Every attempt to study it ends with a blur of movement. Scientists believe the Magna Pinna may represent an ancient offshoot of the squid family. Its elbowed arms might help to keep those delicate filaments from tangling or allow it to send spray over a wider area, but all of that remains a theory. To this day, no one knows how many big fin squids exist, how they reproduce, or how long they live. They are living symbols of how little we truly understand about our planet. The Hadal Zone covers less than 2% of the ocean floor, yet we have mapped more of Mars than of these depths. Somewhere down there in the black trenches of the world, the Magna Pinna drifts, solitary and away from human eyes. Even under the weight of an entire ocean, life doesn't just survive, it evolves into something extraordinary. Hope you learned something today. See you next time.